Hi, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and look what finally showed up in my library holds today. I reserved this back in fall. It is a super popular cookbook, and I should have just bought it. It's on Amazon, it's not that expensive, but I don't like to buy cookbooks I haven't looked through. So Amazon lets you peek at a few pictures from the inside. I just wasn't sure, because am I gonna keep it forever? It takes up a lot of room on the shelf, but I'm a huge Downton Abbey fan. So maybe I should have bought it. But it's finally here and I'm going to quickly do a look through and take it back to the library in a day or two because there's a whole bunch of people waiting in line for when I'm done. <clears throat> so I want to be nice to them. If you don't know what Downton Abbey is, go Google it. It's a wonderful TV show that we watched on PBS here in America and on I think ITV in Britain. Let's check out the chapters. I see there's lots of photos from the show. It starts with Upstairs, clever, breakfast, which includes kedgeri, what is that, truffled eggs, yum, bread at Downton, English muffins, deviled biscuits, what? You can devil biscuits? Pikelets, whatever that is, and dairy at Downton. This is going to be very educational. Lunch and supper features sardine salad, lobster cutlets, Cornish pasties, vegetable curry, macaroni with souffle top. So there's some things in here I would want to make. The book continues with afternoon tea and garden parties with a Dundee cake, a games cake, a pineapple and walnut cake, la 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 la, afternoon tea, Madeline's, a Victoria sandwich. They move on to picnics, shoots and meats, potted cheese, sausage rolls, veal and ham pie, I will not be making that, chicken stuffed with pistachios, <coughs> and a whole section of sandwich fillings. Wow, this is, there's a lot going on here. Festive food, Brussels sprouts with chestnuts, upstairs dinner, hors d'oeuvres, soups, fish, entrees, vegetable entremets, entremets, sweet entremets, entremets, please correct me, and lots of desserts and savories like banana cream ice, hmm. cheese bouchers, deviled kidneys, what? No, that's not a des- oh, and savories. Yeah. Downstairs dinner, of course, is simpler food. Toad in the hole, lamb stew with semolina, beef stew with dumplings, steak and kidney pudding, cauliflower cheese, yum section about the kitchen garden, supper and tea, the still room with things like apple cheese, marrow and ginger jam, pickle lily, pickle green tomatoes, yum, and flavored butters. Supper and tea includes seed cake, cottage loaf, digestive biscuits. Huh. Well, let's check out what the pictures are like, because if they're only showing beautiful pictures from the show, that's great, but I need to see the food. Oh, I love Mrs. Patmore. I kind of want to be her in another life. Oh, beautiful picture. I just skipped to a random page. This is the Yule Log. Nice. Good food photography. But does every recipe have a picture? Hot cross buns. Yes, there's a picture. Okay. A little Mary drinking her tea. Simnel cake. There had better be a picture because I have no idea what that's supposed to... Nope. Plum cake. No picture. But a cute little picture of Lord Grantham, the character. Hmm. Upstairs dinner, la la la, that's nice. Info uh, on how dinner was the main meal of the day and how they ate back then in the Edwardian period. Okay, good info, I like food history. Oysters au gratin, beautiful, beautiful recipe. Uh, photography, stuffed tomatoes, I would totally make those. Chicken volivants, caviar croutés, no picture. Cucumber soup, picture, okay. So they sacrificed some of the photos of some of the food you might be making. Ugh. Ugh. Let's move on <clears throat> to have little pictures of the characters and actors in their costumes. Nice. I do like scenes from the show, but I'd rather have some more recipe photos. And I'm skipping past the meat. Wow! Champagne jelly. That is very retro. And it actually kind of looks delicious. I didn't know you could make champagne jellies, and now I'm curious. Flipping through, you can see how often you get a picture or not. There's the cheese bouchers. Flipping through, some more cast photos, lots to read. Definitely this is a cookbook I would read through and not just grab because I need to know how to stuff tomatoes. I already know how to do that. Oh, that's a nice picture of her. Yeah, summer pudding. I guess I will buy this only because I'm such a fan of the show and the food history looks interesting, but I may not be making some of the recipes in this book that don't have photos unless I go on Pinterest and see how someone else made them. That could help. So that was my cookbook look through of the Downton Abbey cookbook. 
Do you own it? I suspect a lot of you that are watching this do. Please let me know in the comments below what you've actually cooked out of it and what you thought of this cookbook. And please follow Cookbook Divas on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram if you don't mind.